Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Tectonic. Today I'm bringing you some more Euro Truck Simulator. Today in this hideous truck, a rango truck, I think most other trucks, apart from Scania, look horrible, but particularly this one, I'll probably say. Uh, Scania's are definitely my number one choice. But anyway, we're using this one because it's just a route that we haven't done before. It's from here, which is Rockergam, as you can see on the map. Let me put my indicator on. Uh, it's Rockergam to Brussels, which is obviously in Belgium. So, come on. <laughs> it wasn't moving there. Uh, so, we're obviously going to be going along there. Let me just see how long it will take. I keep pressing the wrong thing. Where does it say? Expected Tuesday, 4.05. Okay. Looks alright to me. So uh, let's just go back to the map here. So, two hours, 20 minutes, it looks like it's going to take basically. Uh, and what we're carrying is a reservoir tank. Not sure why, but they obviously need it. So, we'll get it to them basically. Uh, and also, just to let you know that I've just finished a... Sorry, let me just reset my thing for a second. There we go. Uh, I've just finished filming uh, or recording a, like, collab video with people from the Paradox Network. Me, Gang, or Hygis Wicked, and Charlie, or Olympus Media Group, have all just done that. The reason the big R wasn't going it, or Reese, was simply because he does mobile gaming, really. So, um, it's just us three, but that will be out soon, after this video, because, um, I dig an Amer- wait, no, let me think. Yeah, after this video, because, um, the last video I did was, uh, Rocket League as well. It was a Rocket League collab video that we did, basically. Uh, so... Oh, I almost actually hit him. Uh, yeah, it's a Rocket League collab video that we did. So, that's it, basically. That'll be out soon. And because my last video was a Rocket League video, I didn't want to release them both in a row. So, bring out this Euro Truck one, because we haven't done that in a, in a while. So, yeah, basically that'll be out soon. It's pretty funny, actually. I won't tell you if we won the games or anything but we just get three games and it was pretty funny so definitely go and check that out that'll be out in a uh, few days because my aim from now on on this channel is to do two videos a week basically two videos a week and on my other channel Jack's FSX videos the aim is one video a week okay because like I've kept saying like if you if you go and know anything about Jack's FSX videos this will make no sense to you but uh, if you've come from Jack's FSX videos which is my other channel where I've got about three and a half thousand subscribers. Uh, basically, all you need to know is that I'm basically switching over to this channel. So if you don't know about Jack's Upset's videos, don't worry. You don't really need to because I'm phasing out that channel to eventually switch over to this one. So it should be all good. I've just realised I can't actually hear much. S I can't hear any sound actually. I just I realised I'm not listening to any sound. Whoa! Let's see if I can fix this. Just one moment, guys. Is that the sound? I can't really tell. Yes, that's definitely it. I can hear it now. I just wanted to check because I could just hear this like a constant sound. I didn't know if it was just like my speakers or something. But we're good, we can hear it now, so that's good. I didn't even mean to go in here, I was just adjusting my speaker again. Right, so that's it, right. Yeah, you're going to have to stop, mate, sorry. Can't slow down this truck. And uh, if there's any games that you want, guys, remember you can always, um, always just message me. Or comment, which actually would be probably best. Just comment on, uh on the video below if there's any games that you'd like me to play because I'd be more than happy to try them out especially if it's a cheap game I wouldn't mind buying I don't mind buying like cheap games or anything if, if it's an expensive game I'll only do it if I, 
a few people ask. Oh, is that new? Hold on. Is that new, that sound where you're going to the... Like, edge of the carriageway? Hold on. It's not doing it there. But, I know they have those in real life, but I've never noticed it on this game, on Euro Truck. Yeah, there it is there. You haven't noticed that. So now they have them in the UK and uh, a lot of other countries, just so that uh, if like you ever start drifting out of your lane over to the right, that you'll uh, you'll feel it. Certainly not very comfortable. But yeah, never realised that. Don't know if they got it on American truck simulator either, really. Don't even know though. Don't even know if they got it in America. What time is it now? Because I can just see the sun rising there. 5.24. Sun rising behind me. Just cut there because I took a uh, screenshot for the thumbnail. Don't even know if it's really that good. Didn't look that good. We're we turning off here. Yes, we are. Thought we were. Sign said Brussels, anyway. Should probably uh, try one day just uh, driving somewhere without using the GPS. That'll be interesting. See if the signs really are good enough in this game. Now, as my understanding is, I don't have to indicate, which I do not, because for some reason the lane just goes off. Which I always find very unusual, as I have mentioned before. These ring roads as well, they're not very common in the UK. So let's just skip to the left here and follow this guy. Oh, we're almost there actually, 20 minutes. I can actually realise how short that was. It's a very short trip. Oh, we're turning right here, better get over. Alright. Come on. Move. Jesus. See, it's weird. Like, as I was saying in the American Truck Simulator video, that I started learning to drive in real life. It's actually quite weird then driving in a game because I actually do check my mirrors and stuff like you're meant to in real life, you know, when you indicate right, that whole uh, mirror signal maneuver thing. Obviously you've got to do that in real life and then <laughs> I've just actually noticed that I'm doing it a lot more in this game. Because before, you know, you just do it just, just to be like realistic so that you make sure you wouldn't crash or anything. I mean, there's not even any cyclists on this game. That's the only reason you would check your uh, right mirror if you're turning right. So, uh, yeah, it's just a force of habit now, I guess. But anyway, we're here now. Just about. Didn't actually realise how short that would be. Okay, put a bunch of big holes in the way. E acres. Alright, that's what we've got to park into. I gotta say that I definitely think the the like the challenges that they give you for parking in this game are so much easier than parking in American Truck Simulator. I mean they like really push you to the limits. <laughs> I mean I know it's probably easy for the people who play this game a lot, but I certainly don't play this game a lot. I mean look at me, I'm going all over the place right now. Are we in? No. Yes. Okay. That's it then. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Uncoupled there. Excellent as her. And are we going to level up? No. Okay. Level 1 newbie still. But that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. More of these videos out in the future. And remember to watch that collab video out in a few days. Once again, thanks for watching. <laughs>